With his country besieged by Russia, Ukrainian President Vladimir Zelensky took another swipe at Vladimir Putin, formally requesting membership in the EU. Our goal is to be with all Europeans and, most importantly, to be equal, he said. Russia's attempt to shatter Ukraine has instead solidified international support. NATO and EU members have promised military aid. They've closed their airspace to Russian jets and delivered wave after wave of sanctions. The U.S. froze the assets of Russia's central bank. Even historically neutral Switzerland agreed to side with Ukraine. If Ukraine does not survive, we cannot be surprised if democracy fails next. At an emergency meeting of the United Nations, the sudden collapse of the post-Cold War era weighed heavily. We are today at a crucial and historical moment. Too many times in the past, the international community has been blind or too slow in front of unfolding tragedies. Vladimir Putin called the West's coordinated efforts an empire of lies. Yet Moscow's isolation only grows deeper. The U.S. says it will expel a dozen Russian diplomats to the U.N. it accuses of espionage. In a further blow, Turkey limited naval access to the Black Sea. Against that backdrop, the Pentagon says there is currently no mechanism for avoiding an accidental conflict between nuclear superpowers. And that has put limits on NATO's resolve. For now, the alliance has no plans to establish or enforce a no-fly zone over Ukraine. Donna? Okay, Jackson, thank you.